Hello everyone, this is Rashan, right from the channel. Today I'm going to teach you step by step how to use the GitHub workflow actions. Okay, so this is one of a CI CD tool which is widely used. It is very simple, it is under the GitHub itself, Very, it is free. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to first step is we need to create a folder. Okay, so I want to create a folder. So how to create a new folder in GitHub? Simply click on the add file. This is a file, you were saying it's a file, but what you want to do, GitHub. So after creating this is a main folder, you want to put slash. When you put a slash means it's become a folder. Okay, now in this I'm going to create a workflows. Workflows. This then slash mark. If I put slash means it also become one folder. In this I'm going to create a file. So I'm going to create the regression underscore suit dot this and all YAML file. YML. This is created. So this is the file. Okay. So in this file. I'm going to guide you step by step process. First is name of the project. So I'm going to give like um, a regression, okay, regression suit, okay. So this is the name which is we are going to use. So first one is capital letter, okay. This is the name, okay. First of all, this is all name. Then I want to give the on condition, on, okay. So regression is spelling wrong. Sorry for it on so this is on us generally on is used to do uh, uh, like how to say is like whenever you do any actions like pull request post request uh, like th this automatically will run like on is like when i want to run this file when i want to run this code like that okay so i'm going to tell on push request whenever you're doing push request here the very important on which one the branches so what are the branches so uh, I know whatever main is the uh, what to say the primary one. Okay. So whenever you do any action on main, do it. What is the other option? Other option is whenever any pull request, anyone doing pull request, at that time you want to do the branches. What branches? As usual, hyphen main. Okay. These are two things. So okay. So these are the two places whenever you do uh, push action or pull request access okay then we done it so what right now we are coming to our job what job we want to do the jobs okay we give another space as well the jobs in the jobs i want to mention what i want to do i want to run okay run what i want to run i want to run the test okay next under the test i want to where i want to run Okay, that's the matter. Run on this one. We need to select the like the windows. So generally, we will give Ubuntu. I find the latest one. Like we don't know the uh, uh, which version it is. It's generally even I don't know what is the latest version. So we was better the latest command will trigger the latest one. Okay, in that in the jobs. This is not in jobs only. You want to understand? In the jobs, I want to st here we come the steps. So what are the steps I want to do? The first step is name. So what is the like steps well to have two conditions one name then is use name use name use like that we want to give. The first one is checkout. Okay. This is a checkout is the name. Check out the code. Okay. From where uses this is from actions dot checkout at v2 the we are using the v2 version okay that is the first one the next one okay so this and all should be this space okay right now it's fine now i am giving another condition like the name the name this is first of all what we need for our project we need a python right set up python this one is uh, we need to select which user okay so what is the users it uses it uses generally it will uh, you know that uh, you can take anything uh, any versions but you know we are using around three version so let's follow the same pattern python at v2 okay and we need to select with okay so this is with this specific to any uh, python version that's the real thing okay python iphone version we are telling the version equal to so let's put 3.9 because you guys know I'm using 3.9. Okay. 
so cool right we done it and now come to the another name so this name is i right now i want to install the dependencies you guys know the dependencies what are the dependencies we need so we need pytest uh, then we need a uh, 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 request then html reports these kind of things okay python dependencies so sorry this name is i must have name okay after the name i want to run okay here so which file it has all the code is anyone if you remember which file it has everything tell me so generally it has python the first thing first command is python we want to make sure the purpose install with the upgrade every time uh, you guys know like we need to upgrade the pip command okay upgrade pip okay next one what is the next one pip install the main thing this is the main thing or where our files i just told you in the requirements dot txt file you guys uh, like you guys know my code means you, you, you guys can know in which file we have this uh, rec, uh, file like our entire files in the request dot txt okay requirements cool then right so spelling error mm. make sure all spelling error like due to typing sometimes error will come okay right now this is done next this is the main part this is name colon this is the run test i want to run the test so for that i want to use the run command py test i simply i put if and s so this one uh, you guys can I, every day we seeing right what i am putting in the uh, generally uh, in the uh, uh, py test yes and if required we can put html report if it is not necessary but you can put it report dot html and if you want to say like it's a self so you can simply like self contained hyphen html okay so but basically we have the, the this option in the uh, the where in, uh, in the requirements that txt file itself okay now this is done so last one is like it's not necessary but this is useful when we are uploading the reports okay the name colon i want to upload the report okay in the report i want to mention the the uses so what's the use of this means actions slash upload this is also one of the in the inbuilt method rt or we are mentioning the report as artifact uh, don't uh, don't confuse this one artifact then with this is with this var okay with name as py test hyphen report okay and path this generally we directly give in this report report dot if you want to specify the path also it's fine okay html cool right so this is the thing we done so did we miss anything where we had done any small errors we'll see run on so this should come little over uh, this then all the things should follow the, the yaml is the problem of yaml is we should follow the uh, right space okay so otherwise the small issues will come i know she's uh, it's it's a one time task so you don't need to write like every day uh, it will fail or i need to learn no you don't need to learn every day so this all uh, are done one time task one time you done it uh, and you never uh, face this issue okay so i tried pip did i miss anything no right okay cool then so i'm going to commit this directly commit this is a uh, uh, creating yaml file for uh, uh, git hub it up workflow okay so i'm directly coming in the main i didn't do any any such things okay see this this file is created right? so if i go to main project as i told earlier where the requirement means this is the requirements we have okay pytest request for an html okay even i will check this part this or once fine and uh, see this whatever we created github under workflow document the regression okay regression should how cool right so this is uh, 
we need to run this okay and um, next there is another uh, reason also in you know in, in i want to click on the edit button again so in some project i will say it's like every day morning i want to run or every day night i want to run so that means those thing is comes under schedule okay so i want to schedule the job so for this uh, we are we need to use the cron jobs so if uh, anyone uh, don't know uh, this one i will i will tell you okay so uh, i will take any one website cron expression cron expression uh, take this as a so this is the window so the cron expression is of five properties five and five fields like five stars so each star has one value like every minute every hour every day suppose take an example in ist uh, i want to run every day every day uh, around 8 am okay so 8 am means so what i want to put uh, but this will uh, mostly run on utc time okay so that means india uh, 8 o'clock means uh, that is around uh, 2 30 okay generally okay so 2 30 so that means the first value is 30 in 30 minutes on 2 o'clock so every day 2 30 am that means india 8 am okay i'm copying this cron job okay uh, see here i'm copying this okay simply i coming here iphone cron in the colon i want to paste this how cool right so this is how uh, we need to use a cron job so automatically what will do the cron will uh, run on every day eight o'clock so uh, this two action if i push anything to mine means this will run if i pull anything uh pull rest to the main means that time also run otherwise every day eight o'clock india time it will trigger okay so this one we call as a cron job uh, cron expression you can easily get it like first one is mentioning that hour and next one is like that day okay and next one is uh, like last uh, two piece like fri friday middle one is month and year okay so in this 30 minutes mean every 30 minutes this two means day two time two o'clock and the stars are like a random okay so so if you have any doubts on this one in your implementation uh, please tell me okay so i already comment uh, like push it to this code if you go to the same url what i shared last week so you can see this one so you can simply copy this and use in project uh, thanks for watching okay if you want to run means you want to do what to do you want to click on this action so in this there is a failure like it they are saying like this method is kind of deprecated so what i'm going to do like i'm going to update those things because deprecated means that version is like they are a new version came okay so previously i used this one so what i'm going to do i'm going to update so i'm going to change to this v3 and uh, if i'm changing v3 means i will uh, use everything in v3 okay that is the only way to 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 to, to properly uh, make the everything in a common sense if i go to actions again uh, see this it's running right now i will see this time it is at least getting uh, passing those things okay so this one is still running so always you need to go to actions uh, here only you want to trigger uh, you here only you can see the reports uh, how, how many time it's ran those things okay so it's failing somewhere oh uh, this time uh, this time it, it was installing so it was failing installation not on the pre previously it was failing setup this one is like improvement so run python installation upgrade v3 so that means uh v3 shell is uh, location is here the python is uh, 3.2.0 okay so that means i want to uh, i want to keep this version like exact exact that version okay and error could not open record file like uh, file directory uh, requirements even um, i told right you should be very careful on these things okay uh, uh, what i'm going to do uh, i'm just simply i'm going to make this into proper oh, so, sorry clicking on this one and uh, making to in proper channel and uh, this one right the spell error so see this it's a spelling error because there is no such file uh, q i r e m e n t s cool okay now committing again uh, this kind of issues always come we need to keep on update ourselves like this is what the automation does as well it is it's not like door the direct clicking one button and working you need to learn from the mistakes uh, cleanly read the console what error is coming and don't get panic uh, understand the console error then try to if you if you know means not a problem if you don't know means 
go and search in somewhere and you will get it some idea okay again next file is came okay uh, run pytest this is right now i'm running the pytest a pytest is configuration file directory directory such as ignored uh, argument hyphen s is uh, ignored uh, self contained like it got, it got I will ignore so you can just uh, I don't want any such things simply uh, what I'm going to do like uh, this one will put extra curricular activities right always this one will make problem <laughs> so what I'm going to do I simply put pytest okay I didn't do anything simply pytest uh, okay commit changes right now but right now we move to next level that's the thing like that issue got solved we move to next next issue uh, like next improvement that's the way we need to think so if you see like this is steps will in, in, like uh, setting up is done oh, see this it's downloading is done uh, our script got started generating see this the past percentage everything get passed so this kind of things like we should all superbly okay so uh, if if you have any doubts uh, please put me in the comments i will try to help you in any second runs um, i yeah, that is there i am always there and if anything i want to improvise like please let me know uh, whenever i get a time i will change myself the way of the explanations and i'm not a good at video editing so that's why i'm not putting like other videos with you <laughs> like youtube is like good thumbnails or something i simply put straight forward even i don't edit much i simply uh, speak in a single stretch video and after it to the uh, uh, youtube mostly okay so thanks for watching so if you like the video please like and um, share to your friends uh, because it's some very new for this youtube okay thanks for watching